Good morning and hello. This uh, was last night's home, as I like to call it. Uh, there is a major highway just about 100 yards or so that way, and here is where I parked. Last night it was slightly spooky uh, because <laughs> there's absolutely no lights anywhere. I didn't know if this is a logging road or a forest road. I mean, it's some kind of um, public land road access. Uh, and uh, I'm still in the rainforest. It is raining, as you can see. And uh, there's just a bunch of uh, moss on the ground here. Super cool location. Um, <laughs> this is a full on forest here. Uh, if you guys want the location, check out the end of yesterday's video. There's GPS coordinates in it. Um, so today, we're gonna head down to a place, I think it's called La Push. It is right on the uh, Washington coast. And I'm in the far northwest part of Washington. Let's hit the road. business driving down the road and I ran into these two guys because I saw their bus uh, Jeremiah and Mark can I get a quick tour sure yeah all right what do we got here you going, well, yeah, I'll go in first. all right we run the motor off veggie oil this is our veggie pump and filtration system I'm so jealous we can also run diesel that's controlled right here mm -hmm. if we can't find motor uh, uh, veggie oil we run diesel this is our pantry right here we keep games and food and secrets in there <laughs> Hey guys, you're going to be on a video blog or something? Yep. This is my buddy. What's your name? Mr. T? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is the bathroom. Super Ooh. glamorous. Nice. Right in the front. Super glamorous. Cool. Everybody loves showing off the bathroom. I think you, that's the one thing everybody's like, where do you go to the bathroom? So We uh, we sell we sell stuff on Amazon to pay the bills as we go. This is awesome. Amazon storage for stuff. Cool. There are, I won't flip this seat up, but this whole seat flips up. There are six 12-volt uh, batteries in here. Cool. Um, the inverter's in there. This is the 73 VW. Seven, and so you just welded it to the frame, yeah, I'm guessing? welded it to the frame and then took a plasma cutter and cut this section out. Wow. And then this is, here, I'll let you come back in here. Okay. This is my daughter's. You can just go in there and go up the, go up the stairs. You can see their bunks. Oh, cool. It's upstairs? Oh, what? And they sleep up there. Oh, that is so cool. My gosh. That's how you get up. And then, yeah, <laughs> that's right, Emmett. You open that tailgate onto the deck. Oh, that's, that's how you get on the roof, uh, huh? Yeah, you can get up there if you want. There's kayaks up there and gear up there. Fun. And that's, where we hang out. that's so creative. And I just, just kind of build all this stuff. And it was tricky building this part. This is exactly to my height, and this is the bottom of their bed. Yep, so I'm I, sure. I had height restrictions. And then this is my wife and I's bedroom. Awesome. Nothing fancy, just a king size bed and a. There you go. And a smart TV that stands up in the parking lot. That's room amazing. And how long have you been rent free? Uh, we've been on the road for, uh, I guess, 18 months now. Yeah. Bar Harbor, Maine to Key West, and now we're going to Olympic Peninsula oh, to yeah. Southern Cali, perhaps Baja, if, if we can pull it off. That's amazing. Yeah, something I talk about a lot is when you get rid of an apartment, you open yourself up to more freedom and adventure because you're not yeah. tied down to a mortgage or rent or anything like that. So I'm a mm -hmm. big fan of that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's been yeah. fun. And these are my daughter's charity. She's 23. Ella, she's 19. Just kidding. <laughs> They're 15 and 13. So cool. my, my wife does most of the homeschooling on the road. So awesome. That's we're so on the cool. road for one more year, uh, and then we might settle down and we might stay on the road. For right on. Whether we're going to do two years time or three or whatever. So. And where can everybody find you online? Um, if you just search the hashtag Road Sweet Home um, on Insta or Facebook, just Road Sweet Home. Perfect, man. Yep. Very, right on. High five. Very nice, nice to meet you. Stuff. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> parked a little bit past a place called Second Beach. There's some kind of a uh, walk down to the water. As you can see, got my raincoat on. It has been raining um, and it just kind of let up and the sun's kind of coming out. But um, yeah, it's really beautiful down here and very, very uninhabited. Uh, the town of La Push is right up there and I believe it is an Indian reservation uh, area. Um, and unfortunately, if you guys haven't been 
to an Indian reservation. A lot of them are financially struggling. Um, and so it's always kind of, I don't know, sad to see because all this used to be all their land. Check out this tree, it's like a, a candle holder. It's got like trees on trees on trees. That is so cool. say at least three quarters of the way down the trail there is this uh, tree with its trunks and people have placed uh, mussel shells here clam shells rocks feathers a stick with uh, some yarn around it and then on side inside there's like I think that's uh, like a clam shell that's a little clam shell more feathers it seems to me there's a quarter definitely gonna leave that there not taking that for laundry bottle cap Here's a little kind of uh, impromptu art, a cork. Um, anyways, you get the idea, a pair of shoes. <laughs> this seems like there's even a hoof from uh, like a cow or something. I would guess because we are in a Native American area that this tree has some kind of special significance. If anybody knows, please comment below. All right, here we go. Here's the beach reveal. Absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10. And uh, <laughs> remember yesterday's video? My comment about wet logs? Well, we got some wet logs today. And also, moist logs and sand is a terrible, terrible combination. Trust me, grew up in the ocean as a uh, little surf rat. And uh, wet and log is bad, but wet and log and sand is even worse. impressions seems like any other beach I've ever been to except it's beautiful and there's green trees over here right on the ocean with big old rocks so it's slightly different but you know got the usual uh, suspects again the, uh, ocean sand and uh, seagulls <laughs> One thing I was thinking of is that up here in the Pacific Northwest where there are giant trees it's kind of hard to see where you came out of the trail at but luckily you can see the trailhead with that uh, target we'll just call it a target on that tree right there so that's where the trail starts I am gonna place something in what I call the uh, wishing tree which is that tree that uh, we saw earlier but I'm gonna leave this little guy down here because it's uh, it used to be alive so I'm gonna grab like a special rock and I'll make a wish and I'll place it inside there that way it won't be disturbing the uh, you know ecosystem and stuff hey how about this rock we're at the wishing tree now this rock represents all of humanity we are different colors but we are one so with this rock I wish that everyone who is chasing their dreams to become something bigger, that their wishes come true.
almost at the furthest northwest part of the entire United States, except for Alaska, of course, because that's way up there. But what a treat this is. Look at how beautiful this whole area is. And I just want to let you know, across the way is Canada, Vancouver Island, and uh, there are many, many shipping containers going in and out, probably to uh, Seattle and uh, Olympia and those kinds of areas. But wow, tons of pullouts here. Uh, if anybody uh, wants to come and park on the side of the road and you know camp overnight, uh, I'd say go for it. Um, you know, like I said in yesterday's video, I keep saying if nobody's around, nobody's around to care. So, uh, like this spot, for example, probably not the best spot because you're right on a curve. But it is absolutely stunning and there are plenty of places just like this. Alrighty, we are over at the Cape Flattery Trail. This is the entrance. It almost kind of looks like the uh, entrance to a horror film. Um, also looks like there are some hiking sticks here provided. That's pretty cool. Well, here we are, the furthest northwest place you can go in the continental United States. It is absolutely stunning up here. place to park over next to the water and there I can catch the sunset hopefully you guys know what this is this is my freaking parking spot for the night check this out so bus road boom beach look how awesome this parking spot is or I like to <coughs> or how I like to say my home for the evening this is absolutely incredible and 100% fat free and 100% free. Totally freaking free. This is awesome. I'm telling you guys, you gotta get out there, you gotta do the bus life, you gotta jump in a van, get, your, get rid of your freaking apartment, give a middle finger to your landlord and just hit the road. I mean, I know it's hard to figure out money, but if you can figure that out and just be free or live in a city, you know, do stealth camping. You know, save on the rent and then you can take more trips like this. This is freaking awesome. This is a setup going on. We got dinner cooking. We got that mediocre Campbell soup with a giant package of vegetables in there heating up. We also have over here a time lapse, which you will see after I get done talking. And again, we have this beautiful sunset. Well, sunset's that way. But we have the beautiful waterfront right here and it looks like tire marks and that behind the bus where I parked, looks like somebody backed right down here and that does sound fun. I don't know how high the tide will be and uh, so I'll just play it safe and stay up there because it is low tide right now. That means the tide will be coming up. I know your time is valuable and I do appreciate you spending it with me. See you on the road tomorrow.